Hello everyone, welcome to this internally screening reaction for James Bond 7, also known as Diamonds of Forever. My name's Adam. My name is Rupert. And today we are once again joined by Mr. Tommy, who joined us most recently for our Thunderball reaction. Tommy, how you doing? Hello gentlemen, it's good to be back. I am psyched to watch Diamonds Are Forever. Probably in my top three films to do with diamonds, up there with Uncut Gems. <laughs> And Blood Diamond. <laughs> I was knew you were going to mention Blood Diamond. You <laughs> bloody love Blood Diamond. I never Diamond. miss a chance, Rupert. I never miss a chance. Do you like to get kissed before you get fucked? Uh, talk to me after the recording's finished, Rupert. I'm sure <laughs> get to some kind of accommodation. Whoa! What right. a way to open! <laughs> There's something I'd like you to get off your chest. Whoa! I'm starting to enjoy oh, this film. Rupert. <laughs> <laughs> That gun would not what? work. Why did he take it with him? <laughs> that, oh, that roll fun. was completely unnecessary. <laughs> oh, no. It's called evasive maneuvers, mate. <laughs> How has that killed him, or even incapacitated him? When that's the that's the stuff he emerged from. Why has he got a water gun? <laughs> Nah. <laughs> what was James Bond going to do if he had to, like, stop feigning that he was going for his pocket? Would he just, like, have to principally mousetrap his own hand? <laughs> like, oh, oh, I would have gotten you with this, you <laughs> cheeky fucker. Oh, well, that, that took him out fairly quickly. He was already very sleepy. Not more hot mud. Oh. This man is now soup. Guys, I don't know if you're aware, this film is trash. But this song, possibly the best Bond song yeah. ever ever and if anybody's watching this and hasn't you need to go and see her sing this live on youtube because it is ridiculous would anybody else like a glass of scrumpy jacks <laughs> <laughs> tell me commander how far does your expertise extend into the world of scrumpy cider <laughs> let me tell you about old rosie well, I'm more of a K-sider man myself. These are like the homophobic stereotype villains. Are they supposed to be gay? They like heavily imply it. Oh, okay. It's like, oh, they're gay, isn't that creepy? He has maybe the worst wow. lid I've ever seen. On Look at that hair. Strong lid. I kind of respect lid. this guy, you know. Most the people skullet. that've lost that much hair, they just have it all off. But this guy That's what I'm saying. is committed to He's those. got like, he's keeping the fringe, but nothing else. He's keeping <laughs> absolutely all the hair he can get his hands <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah. Like nothing has gone to waste on that. Do you hair. not have a level of respect for that? In some way. <laughs> Is that how scorpions work? Wouldn't you just go like, ow, fuck? Yeah, how awkward would it be if a scorpion didn't, like, hit him? If just like, what the fuck did you guys do that He's for? like, bro, what the fuck? It could have been really dangerous. Scorpion just scuttles off. It's like, oh, I just thought it'd be a Here I am, prank. on my downtime, trying to do a bit of dentistry. Oh, that's progressive. <laughs> Question mark? Question mark. <laughs> Hovercraft? Fuck yeah, I'm taking that option. Oh, foreshadowing yeah, to die another day, chaps. There it is. Oh my god. Did they really used to do this? Yeah, legit. Bro, why don't they bring back hovercraft? I think because they were dangerous and expensive. How is that dangerous? Look at it. Well, Rupert, you're talking like someone that hasn't seen Die Another Day and hasn't seen just how many ways you can die in a hovercraft. Also, we've had fuck all time with James in this film. It's like Sean Connery was like, right. Because he didn't want to be on set. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting this check, but... If you point that camera at me for more than 30 seconds at a time, I will hit <laughs> I will attack the crew. <laughs> Is Money Penny the only female character in this that hasn't turned up with her tits out? Yes, and for one, I think it's terrible. <laughs> Money Penny, get them out. How long till we get a Money Penny spin-off film? Oh, do you know what? Genuinely, reckon that's in the works. That'll come one day. She does some filing and like... <laughs> Flicks the bean to Bond. Yeah, it comes, but it's actually really regressive, and it sets feminism back like twenty years. But it's like <laughs> Money Penny's in the big city. After after Money Penny, the movie comes out. Women retroactively get the vote taken away. <laughs> they made like one of those like old kind of feminist films where she's this like clunk clunky clumsy woman trying to make it in fashion. You know, she gets a job <laughs> yeah, yeah. as a PA after MI6. She drops and... a, her coffee all over the CEO of MI6. <laughs> Why do they just have like garlic and peppers on the table here? Yeah, that is weird. That is a weird snack, isn't it? Who just bites into a bell pepper while they're... It's like, it's no, I've heard of a fruit bowl, but that's like a vegetable a veg bowl. bowl. Who the fuck yeah. has a veg bowl? They got a fruit bowl over there! That's where the fucking veg bowl should be. Your kid, no. No. <laughs> what the fuck? So just to be clear, before you get double O status, you have to kill two people and be able to do the move where it looks like you're making out with someone against the wall perfectly. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a brother. 
small world. <laughs> <laughs> so many meetings. Is, is Sean Connery wrote in like, I need a lot of scenes where I sit down. <laughs> it's no one going to offer me a scrumpy jack, sir. And I need to drink in almost every scene. Oh, no, ah, my what, what have you given me here? Is this some kind of, oh, some punch, some Hawaiian punch, a mojito? Oh, fuck, it's just diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> Was that just some guy? Who just had the best day of his life. He's just a pervert. He loves ashes. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like, ah, diamonds. Oh, right. rubbish. I it. knew this perverse obsession of mine would pay off one day. That's a bad place to wake up. No shit. Top 10 worst places to wake up. <laughs> oh. 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 Well, that was anticlimactic. That's how that ends. The, the I, thought, I was like, oh, you know, it's classic. You know, Bond in the coffin and they're burning him. Like, oh, what does he do? And I was like, yeah. how does he get out of it? And I didn't remember it being that lame. Do you reckon this was in Sean Connery's contract? He's like, all right, I'll do another <laughs> film. But I'm going to go to Vegas. If you guys just film me while I'm there. He had a penthouse the out there. It was like, no, they like filmed it in his back garden, basically. They were like, <laughs> he was like, look. Yeah. I'll this is Sean Connery's house. <laughs> Has he actually shagged anyone yet? No, he's too tired. He's <laughs> he can't even do his normal like shit that he enjoys. Gentlemen, ten thousand dollars credit with a two thousand dollar limit. They couldn't even get that guy. What did he say? It. It's like his <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that actor actually had a stroke during that line, but they kept it in because they couldn't find a replacement extra. Hi, I'm Plenty. Plenty or two. Named after your father, perhaps. <laughs> okay, play, Named good. after your father, the <laughs> He basically just said, Your dad, he must have been hung. <laughs> Bit of a weird thing to say to someone. I guess it's a compliment in a manner of speaking. <laughs> good genetic. <laughs> Only Bond could pull by asking, How big is your dad's cock in the first <laughs> two Are sentences? You what, Tommy, I don't think anyone's tried it, so we don't know that no one else could pull it off. <laughs> we need to do some research in the field. <laughs> it's more that James Bond is the only man brave enough to try that. <laughs> oh my god. God. What the fuck? Oh, that was lucky. It would have been darker if they just didn't show what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Should I? I'll do a re-edit. <laughs> I love that she's has a cigarette ready. That's actually why me and Rupert are vaping in every video. <laughs> we'll just fuck. Oh, Peter. Oh, Peter. Oh, Peter. Of course there's a circus. He's just sightseeing at this point. Are we just <laughs> following Sean Connery's holiday? I genuinely think that's how they got into a great of this film. Is he was going on holiday and it's like, just film this, turn it into a film. I'm not changing <laughs> my plans for you guys. They had to like be moving his family and friends out of shot constantly. <laughs> so I'm just trying to spend time with my wife <laughs> like get out of the way we need to get the shot maybe plenty o'toole was his wife <laughs> that was the shot <laughs> to get was, her out that was physical that was like left in okay <laughs> why would it do that shot okay okay oh dear Got a kid there. He's so happy. He's enjoying it a bit too much. <laughs> like he's like, <laughs> Felix, don't tell me you lost her. We lost her. What? Why didn't you just look for the car being driven by a gorilla? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> How the so hell she did wasn't you lose the her? gorilla. <laughs> Yeah. She didn't turn just into the gorilla. Tommy, 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 hang on. She didn't turn into the gorilla. Let's get this straight. Yeah, but she, didn't she run off she, with the gorilla? I thought they were like working in, together. She, she <laughs> ran in, switched places and costumes with the lady, became the gorilla, and in costume drove off. I'm so confused. But seriously, guys, what happened to the gorilla? I'm still trying to wrap my head around what they were trying to accomplish there. Tommy, I don't think it was a real gorilla. I hate to break it. <laughs> they need to introduce, <laughs> no. what's it called from Harry Potter? Animagus magic into just like regular James Bond lore. Yeah. Like James Bond can just turn into a duck whenever he wants. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to figure out is whether or not the trick was actually a fake gorilla, whether the trick in the context of the film involved a real gorilla, but it was someone in a gorilla costume, but we as an audience are supposed to think that it's that a is a real gorilla, gorilla if that makes right. any sense. No, I know I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if it's the latter, it. then a gorilla yeah. has just escaped into a parking lot in Las Vegas, as far as we know it's still on the loose. <laughs> so there is another film running concurrently to this, where there is an on-the-run gorilla who has somehow learned to drive. Your father's tool, would you say he has plenty? Oh my God. 
I knew it. What? Oh my that god, it's so a set. Weird. I thought they just done a transition weapon what or something. What the fuck? This what? film is the definition of we did a storyboard before we wrote the script. What the fuck? Why would it work? What? What questions. the fuck has just happened? This high security facility has very so, shit walls. So parodying the moon landing, because what, this was 1970? 1971, yeah. So they were like, right, if it's ha -ha, parodying the, the moon, moon landings were fake, right? This is cutting social commentary at the time. I love that he had to drive into his own building. Uh, one, they built it to work, but two, they built it to outrun Mustangs. It must have been like someone on set was like, yeah, we've got this sick prop, should we use it? The director was just like, yeah, oh, fuck it. We got this thing from when we faked the moon. It's turned into the fucking Benny Hill show. How did that door just come off? See, this is more like it. Why don't they lead with those? <laughs> yeah. These very flimsy cars. <laughs> How have you fucked that How up? many of these cars do they have to wreck? <laughs> <laughs> How has that guy <laughs> fucked that up? They literally parody this exact shit in Blues Brothers. Holy shit. Oh my oh, god. Yeah, they do as well. He's literally just lapping the car park and waiting for all of the policemen <laughs> to crash. <laughs> Oh, are they going to do the thing? Oh, is this the first time he does the thing? Hey. Huge. Classic. I didn't know that was in this. Oh. They need to bring this back, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. How the fuck do they explain it going the other side? Uh, Did you know. see that they showed yeah, the yeah, shot yeah, where yeah. it flipped? It's like, oh yeah, that just happened. You, you just look, if you just move in your seat. You know what they clearly did? Is they fucked up the, the next shot. They were like, they got it wrong on the angle, and so they had to do editing thing where they like- Too expensive it. to shoot it again. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was it. And I'm not gonna look it up. If you're in the <laughs> comments and I, oh, Adam's wrong, shut up. Don't care. I just feel bad for these fish that have got to see Sean Connery's hairy ass crack. <laughs> that is a very uncomfortable mattress. Bring back waterbeds, man. You're gonna fill your waterbed with, with goldfish. Fish, yeah. I put a very poisonous eel in there, so it's close to me, but it can't get me through the Kevlar. <laughs> how how exactly do you intend on feeding this eel? <laughs> I have a little tube. <laughs> what if it gets out the tube? No, oh, no, it's a one-way tube, my friend. <laughs> I just want a water mattress that doesn't have any water. It's just filled exclusively with writhing eels. There's no water <laughs> whatsoever. Yeah. You're just sleeping. You just feel the eels. They wouldn't really. be writhing very long, Rupert. <laughs> That's what you think. These would be bio-engineered eels <laughs> specifically for my mattress. How on fire. earth did we go on to talk about bio-engineered eels and Side of Look, Tommy, this film is not very good. I'm gonna entertain myself. Are they actually gonna make us watch them go all the way? <laughs> they really are time wasting. Oh Holy God. shit! We've gotta have the evil turn. Yeah, oh, there he is. is. If they stop at two, that's lame. Yeah, come you on. You should have like an army of Blofelds. Yeah. And they should all like sort of link well, up right, into a maybe. superstructure and become mega Blofeld. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, why was it so late? Just Look how risky of an assassination attempt this is. What, they, they just left him there for eight hours Overnight, until it turned. Overnight, yeah. <laughs> and like, expect him not to wake up to this horrific mechanical noise. This is so elaborate. They could have just turned on this diggy machine and had him like crushed to death, but no. <laughs> or, yeah. get this, they could have shot him in the head with a gun. Well, oil be damned. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> oh, Bond probably hasn't eaten for a long time. It's probably looking pretty appealing right now. Uh oh. What the fuck is that? Ah, oh, good, yes. My first thought, let's touch these exposed wires. I can't imagine anything going wrong there. Oh, that's a fucking penis chair. I saw tits. Oh, so what God does that is. tell you? <laughs> it's the, uh, the Rorschach chair. It's the Rorschach chair. chair. <laughs> You've been exposed. This is the scene that Sean Connery specifically requested. That's my thing. Oh my god, I know this scene. I've lost track of the assassination attempts at this point. So just, just in case he survived the elaborate putting him in a oil pipeline. <laughs> they had these two acrobats waiting for him. I thought this film was about diamonds. Well, we're distracted now by two women scantily clad trying to choke Bond to death with their thighs. <laughs> I'm almost... Kind of, <laughs> I almost respect the restraint it took them to not just have it where they were both fighting him and it just devolves into him having like an epic threesome because yeah. they just can't resist him. That would have been way more like Bondy. An electromagnetic RPM controller. Oh my god, Q, they're gonna break your legs. <laughs> <Run>. <laughs> Joe Pesci comes out, he's like, hey, wise guy. <laughs> 
They put Q's head in a vice. <laughs> Oh my okay. god! What the Fucking fuck is happening? Why would guys. you? Why would you need to do that? He just wanted to do that. Yeah. You know how like that scene was just on Sean Connery's request. That was purely on that guy's <laughs> request. He's like, so sir, you really don't need to dress up as a woman. He's like, oh no no, it will be. He's safe gone full this Jared way. Leto. He doesn't know where his character <laughs> ends and he begins anymore. Is this the plot to die another day? I think it kind of is because I'm now remembering what what they do with the satellite. Oh my god, it is. Okay, Die Another Day just got so much worse now that I've realised that they literally ripped the plot more or less from this film. Tommy, what you're saying is that Die Another Day took a bad bomb film and made it great. Yeah, do you know what? That's that's fair. They, they saved it. Tommy, they even have the plastic surgery thing. Because at the beginning of this, he's oh, like doing the face thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Adam, you're absolutely right. Holy shit. We've oh accidentally God. just watched Die Another Day, lads. James Bond did Kursk. Yeah, phone call for you from Washington. Urgent. I'll catch it in the jar. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Hello, Mr. President. <laughs> How are you? I've got severe diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he taking a shit during a crisis? It's like Jeff Goldblum said in Jurassic Park. When you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. One hour for both of us to achieve our common dream. Total disarmament and peace for the world. Lame. Oh, that actually sounds pretty, pretty good. <laughs> what is Blofeld? Some kind of liberal? Is Blofeld the good guy? <laughs> James Bond's like, no, no, I love nukes. <laughs> <laughs> this nuclear power station right at the heart of Garden City <laughs> will bring jobs. Yes, Adam. Yes. You guys need to stop rolling. With this obscure, <laughs> stupid fucking reference. Search him from his toenails to the last follicle on his head and then bring him to me. Oh, they're gonna look under my foreskin again. Shit. Didn't think they'd search <laughs> me there. That blowfell sure is good. I've been keeping all the diamonds <laughs> under that. <laughs> That's where all the diamonds are. Circumcised, are we, Bond? Oh. <laughs> where else could the diamonds be? Oh, no, they're in my urethra. <laughs> Please don't go in there. <laughs> no, that's not a kidney stone. <laughs> it's an African conflict diamond. <laughs> what would you have to eat to generate... <laughs> <laughs> what? A naturally generating diamond kidney stone? It's gotta be. Jesus. Like, that you piss out. That would be incredible. The amount of pressure in your own gut required. Not even your gut, in your kidney. Jesus. Why did you let him in here? <laughs> Why did you let him touch the machine? I switched the tape in the machine. You stupid twit, you put the real one back Come. in. Wow, she really is useless. <laughs> Blofeld, you deserve this. You had the worst plan ever. <laughs> that was the best That was lucky. That was ever. lucky as fuck. <laughs> Imagine if they just unloaded into her. <laughs> Christ. James Bond been unloading into her. <laughs> I was her. literally about to make that joke! <laughs> is this supposed to tie into the circus? <laughs> it would be great if he came up and there's a unicycle. <laughs> He's like, oh, <laughs> I know what I have to do. I've got to remember back to my train. <laughs> he's got to ride it across the rope. The tape's inside a slot machine and he's got to get three cherries in order to get it out. He's trying to remember what the elephant was doing. <laughs> they couldn't have like a shoot for it um, to go down. They have to crane him. Yeah, it's in the path of gunfire. <laughs> that is a, the easiest target I've ever seen. This is meet. like the most menial thing I've seen during a final sequence ever. No! <laughs> oh, God. oh, for God's oh, sake! Oh, I... You're only saying for God's sake because it means the film is still going. <laughs> yes, go, man, oh, go. Here we go. Yes, now we're talking. Oh my God, get kebabbed. E. <laughs> e. 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 Oh yes, yes. Guys, this film oh just my... went up fucking eight points. Oh my god. How's she gonna fuck this up? Oh, that's a good idea. Throw a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> she is so incompetent. She's so fucking she is useless. so useless to this plot. He gonna... should just, it, Bond should prioritise her in this fight and like throw her off the edge because she's a bigger risk to his health. Lame. Okay. <laughs> if they just got oh, raining like, of viscera, viscera. Yeah. yeah. Just absolute gore rains upon them. 
Okay, lads. What <laughs> that was. Oh, that was dreadful. Film. I'd like to formally apologise to you on behalf. Of oh, not at all. Do you know what? Sometimes the bad ones are the most fun to watch. We haven't even made it to Octopussy yet. <laughs> So yeah, Tommy, what were your thoughts on Diamonds Are Forever? I think it can safely be said to be the weakest of the Sean Connery's, except unless we're counting Never Say Never Again. Although I've never seen Never Say Never Again, yeah, so maybe that it. one is a hidden gem. Maybe that one's aged really well, I don't know. I doubt it, but yeah. <laughs> uh, of the ones we've seen, the worst of the Sean Connery ones, really a shame to see Connery go out on a low note. Yeah. After such an iconic tenure. There were some moments in it that I quite enjoyed. Like, I quite enjoyed the bit where he flips his car to the side. It's got uh, all of the, like, some iconic moments, but, you know, that's never really enough to I think it's, lift it, the film entirely. It's the most amateurish <clears throat> that James Bond has ever felt. Everything about it felt really slapdash and, like, hurried. Stone together. Like, they were really rushing to get this finished. Uh, I don't know why that is. I, I imagine a large proportion of that is down to the restrictions probably from Sean Connery around how it was yeah. shot and like to what extent he was in it because he was apparently paid like a record amount of money to yeah, star to return, in the film. Yeah. And yet uh, he, he could not, cl he's so clearly miserable and he's so mm. clearly putting in as little effort as he can into action set pieces, just like, scenes with him sitting and talking like in terms of quality bond time you really get so little throughout well, it's almost like they designed the film so that he has to barely do any acting because yeah uh for the most mm. part it's just silly gags sure most bond films don't really put him in much of a stressful situation like he mostly breezes through them but normally there's like a bit of struggle or a bit of intrigue or you know he will face some adversity or hardship. He just feels like he's kind of breezing through in this one and it doesn't make it very entertaining. Do you know no, what I mean? No, I like, at least even like, on a Magic Secret Service, obviously took that to a new level. But like, even You Only Live Twice, he's still like on the back foot in quite a few scenes. Whereas in this one, he just kind of like, you know, I'll get knocked out, wake up, and then easily get out of whatever situation yeah. I'm in. And the sequence of events are really weirdly put together. Like mm -hmm. he survives an assassination attempt on that oil building site inside the pipe and then in about three minutes time he's fighting Bambi and Thumper <laughs> in a pool yeah it's just really really strange what would you rate um, it out of 10 Tommy if you if you rate films out of 10 I, I don't think I can give it more than a 5 I hate to say it but I will say the song is worth like a point yeah, the song itself. is amazing I think the song is definitely one of the best Bond songs yeah great song I would probably rate it like a Three out of ten. Yeah, I'll be good. generous and give it a four, but I think giving it more than a five. I mean, if we're looking at all of the bonds, a five this certainly is isn't average. On the top this is like all. below average, yeah. right? Below average for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, Although I'm... maybe we'll feel differently after watching a couple of Roger Moore's and suddenly this will be, <laughs> no. like, wow, we'll be we'll be nostalgic for the times of Diamonds are Forever. Oh, I really hope that doesn't happen. And the Las Vegas <laughs> car chases. Oh yeah. no. It, oh god. <laughs> yeah. I'm, That's I'm... actually something else as well. This this film was really tied to Las Vegas like so much of this film was just Las Vegas yeah. and like one casino in it yeah they didn't do much with the location no not at all mm. yeah yeah I mean if, if I think of other iconic Las Vegas films like Casino or like The Hangover uh, no The Hangover does more with Vegas than this film does yeah, yeah it so. really does even like the Oceans films and mm. stuff like that like so much mm. more why wasn't it a heist film just go like simple do you know what I mean yeah 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 but I'm 100% with you Rupert it's a 3 out of 10 from me as well like that was a slog I felt it sapping my strength as we went through that. <laughs> like, I was really trying to be witty and like come up with stuff to say, but by the end of it, I was just so like constantly speaking. The film is, it makes fun of itself for you, so we're out, sort of out of a job for as long yeah, as- A little <laughs> bit, that's the problem. Yeah, it kind of, it, it, it is its own piece of criticism. Anyways. Thank you everyone for watching. We will have more James Bond reactions coming, more other shit. Subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, press like. If you dislike the video, press dislike. And we will see you in the next James Bond reaction for Live or Let Die with Roger Moore. Peace. Peace. Woo! Peace.